Muchende, muchende. Oh, tinoti muchende. Hello, hello, everybody. This is Minister Ella Cherai. Keep on watching AFM TV, the heritage of faith. God bless you. Heritage of faith, heritage of faith, AFM TV. Heritage of faith, heritage of faith, AFM TV. Enriching, empowering, transforming lives. Preach with the preacher, AFM TV. Would I welcome you to our show and program, Gospel Moments, with me, Pastor Sakani on AFM. TV and today, ladies and gentlemen, I got one very interesting uh, panelist today. We have got none other than Minister Ellen Cherai. Minister, how are you doing? I'm, I'm good. Thank you so much, Pastor. Awesome. Thank awesome. Oh, uh, thank you so much, uh, viewers. Uh, it's good to be here. Wonderful. Thank you. Wow, it's nice to have you, sir. You are so a very scarce man to find. Oh. <laughs> my goodness, my goodness. Amen. But we thank the Lord that, that, that you're here. Amen. Um, Minister, tell us, who is Minister Ella Chirai? Wow. Um, Minister Ella Chirai is a devout Christian. Mm. He's a uh, spirit-filled, tongue-speaking wow. um, uh, Christian who loves the Lord passionately. Wow. Um, I'm also, besides that, um, I was born in a family of four, uh, four boys, mm. and me being the last born as okay. well, and um, I'm married to one wife, Sharon Manunga and Secherai, and God has blessed us with, with one child, Simon wow. Musa uh, that's a name, and um, yeah, I'm a recording artist, I'm also a student pastor. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I think, I think that's all. Lovely. Nice to know. Um, now tell me, um, how did Minister Ellen, or let me just call you Ellen, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How did Ellen get into music? I can feel the same as Jogu Yimba Yimba. Yeah, Jogu Yimba is Jogu Burakar, Mamuari. I started off when I was, uh, as far as I can remember, is I was five years. Mm -hmm. That's when I started singing. So what what would then happen is my, my mom is her family. She she comes from a, from a lineage of people who sing. Oh. So that's where I got it from. Okay. So when I was still young, five years, we would um, she would make me to sing in church, mm. uh, sing these songs that she would teach me, and then I I would go sing in parties and weddings when I was five. And then six, and then started singing. From there, it never stopped. Wow! Yeah. Wow! Wow! Never stopped. That's awesome. So you've got a lineage of musicians. I, I, yes, yes, exactly. Um, from my mom's side, um, all of them they are singers. Like, manamai guru, manamai nini, samasekuru. Wow! I also have. Um, I think I have one sekuru who is really. I don't think people know about him. That he I'm related to him is actually my cousin, mm. the guy from Jazz Celebration. He's called Eric Mott. Oh, yeah, man away on jazz. This dude, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. he's my cousin, brother. Wow. So that's that's the family that I come from. Wow, yeah, yeah. wow, wow, wow. So it's a lineage of musicians. Exactly. Wow, yes. I like yes. that. Yes. All right. Um, you say you're married to Sharon Manyunga Nisichirai. Yes. And I believe Sharon Manyunga Nisichirai is also a musician. Yes, and lot of in any one because of the demuro, the guy in that home on era of party. So um, she she has been in the industry way longer than I I, I am. Um, I I actually saw her and she already she she had a name for herself and and that's 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 my wife. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. wow. So you met her. Yeah. To a celebrity. Yeah. Wow. The guy the guy to the so yeah, interesting. So my, my question to you um, yeah. is, how how is it? How I, 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 I want to put it like this: how how does it feel, or how is it like being married to a fellow musician? 
Wow, um, it's 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 amazing. Uh, for from my end, it's amazing because I I, I get to learn a lot from her. Mm-hmm. Um, I I. I, I took it as, as a way to, to learn from it because obviously she has walked the journey more than I am and she's more gifted, more than I am vocally. And um, believe it or not, she's actually my tutor in terms of teaching me vocally. Wow. To sometimes sing, yeah. She actually teaches me sometimes and um, I thank God for that. Um, I, I, I learned from from one of the power couples that we we have in Zimbabwe, mm. musicians as well. I think we know them from our church as well. Oh, the Charamans. Yes, the Charamans. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. He, he, he said something one time in a certain place. And he, he was saying, how when I got married to my wife, my wife, I saw the gift in her. And, and when I saw that in her, I, I let her be. Mostly when we get into environments that have to do with singing. Mm. So that's what I do as well. So I, I, I took it as a way to learn from her the journey that she has walked and I always give her a space to, to manifest herself, to spread her wings in terms of uh, her gifting in her own right and, and I think that has been uh, the most fascinating journey from my part. Yeah. Wow. So yeah, you know, I don't know if I'm going to talk to you about it. Uh, you know, <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> 50-50. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, now tell me, yeah. being a musician, um, how many how many albums, how many songs have you had so far? Okay. Um, in terms of albums, I, I have one album. Okay. I, I've recorded one album. Um, but I've also done previous songs before. Okay. I've done previous songs with other groups before. Uh, and... Right now, I'm I'm actually working on on a, on a second album, right. my one second album that I'm working on right now. I'm actually at the studio, and then I also have another thing uh, that I've also done something with a group uh, that we started together with my wife called New Dawn. Right. So that group, I we've also done some stuff there as well. Beautiful. Well, now that you've mentioned New Dawn, yeah. I was going to come to New Dawn. Okay. Yes. Did you tell me? Who and what is New Dawn? Okay, so New Dawn is a musical group that, that the Lord spoke to us together with my wife uh, a couple of years ago. Teach um, mm. and God spoke to us that we were going to uh, start a group um, of young people who really love the Lord passionately, who really love to spread the word of God through, through uh, praising and worshiping the Lord with a pure heart mm. um, all over across the globe. So um, this year, then the Lord just pressed on our heart to someone and then came and said, you know what, uh, God told me that you have a vision that, you, that is on your heart. So push that thing. So then we then began to, 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 to push the vision. So we did our, our auditions this year in March. And then um, we recently did um, our live show uh, that we did on Facebook and it was, it was amazing. Indeed, it, it was, was amazing. It was, yeah. it was. Yeah. I actually watched it on Facebook. Wow. Yeah, it was really awesome. Wow. Um, I've always had this music uh, question to many musicians. Yeah. Why music? Why, why, not, why not football? Why not, why not any other thing? Why, why music? Wow. Uh, to, to my side, music was, was more like a, uh, it, it was a, a calling, like a gift mm-hmm. that, I, that I had. So I, you know, I've, I've done other things. Yeah. I've gone to school. I've, I've done. I've got a degree in accounting. I've done other things. I, uh, but music then becomes the basis of who I am. It's, it, it becomes who I am. So to answer the question, why music? It's I can't run away from myself. Mm. Mm. If I if I hear music playing, especially gospel music playing that I can relate to. There's something that begins to move inside of my spirit, mm. inside of my, my I, I begin to feel it inside of my soul. But you know what, uh, this is who I am, it's a part of me. All right, all right. All right. Can you just give us a snippet, you know? Um, uh, we, want, we want a live snippet now. We no. are here, <laughs> give us something live, you know? Um, so. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll just do a snippet of something that, that we did with New Dawn. Right. Uh, it's a new song called Mucheni, that we did, it, it, it goes like so. Giro zizi zilo fugama 
Zino timu chene Giro zizi Zino fugama Zino timu chene Muchende 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 Die tino timu chene my goodness, my goodness, I feel like I was there. Ah, amen. Good people, this is Minister Ella Chirai happening right here on Gospel Moments with me, Pastor Tavazo Msagani on AFM TV. Catch us after this segment. Ah, hallelujah, Jesus. Mariwe, 
Welcome back, everybody, to Gospel Moments right here on FM TV with me, your host, Pastor Nsakanyi. And we got in the house, Pastor um, Ella Cherai. He's a student pastor, is that right? Yeah, that's uh, right. Awesome, he's a student yeah. pastor. Now, Minister, tell me something. Who is your mentor? Who... Wow, <laughs> that's a very good question. Mm. Um, I, I, I do not have an ultimate uh, person that I can say. But, but musically, I have people that, that inspire me. Mm -hmm. I have people that I look to have uh, walked the journey before, that I acknowledge and I say, you know what, I can learn one or two things from them. And, and some of them, I, I also have contacts with them. I sit down with them. I sit down with them. We talk um, the likes of Minister Textual. Mm -hmm. uh, he has played a big role in my life. Uh, the likes of Minister Mayendere. He has played also a very big role in my life. Um, uh, in terms of the way that he does his things, we also have other other people, um, the likes of the Charambas. You know, when you look at them, how they have managed to to walk this journey as well. It, it has become something that that um, I, I I value and, and I cherish a lot. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. No, this is this is nice. You know, it's really it's really important to have a mentor. Yeah. You know, in this thing. Not talking of obviously the, the pastors that 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 have nurtured me ever since I was. Mm. Young, you know, mm. the parents, uh, the effort that they put in sure. into into the music ministry, the pastors who saw you, gave you opportunities when you were growing up, you know, and even my pastor right now where I fellowship at um, FM uh, Living Way Tabernacle. Yeah. Wow, that's beautiful. Yeah. All right, besides music, what else does Pastor, uh, does Minister Ella Chelai do? Okay. In terms of hobbies, do you have any hobbies? Uh, do you play cards? Do you play golf? <laughs> or do you support Chelsea? You know, yeah, all those yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, in terms of other things um, that I do, um, as, as, as you have said, I'm, I'm a student pastor. I'm actually at school. Um, I'm, I'm learning as well on that regard. And um, that's, that's the other side of things. But on the other side of hobbies, no, I, I love watching soccer. Wow. I, I love watching soccer. And I'm sure you're a Chelsea fan. No. Come on. No, I'm not a Chelsea fan. No, I'm a Manchester United. Right? Ah, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Yeah, I, I love watching soccer. Uh, and um, I also um, love to spend time with, with, with the people, talking, sharing the word of God. It's, 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 it. I, I love that. Okay. I love that. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Um, that's awesome. I always took you for a Chelsea fan. Oh. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah. Tell me, for the sake of our audience out there, there are people who are like looking forward to becoming musicians themselves. Yeah. Uh, because Minister Ellen said this, so I also would like to be a musician. Um, you know what? Uh, in this world, you do not tell about the. Kana kana ishe waka ku waka ku waka isachi maole, which is in Zimbabwe. Ah, you know what? God has really pressed this thing on my heart. Change your image. Do whatever it can for you to make sure that the thing comes out. I think that's the most. That's the thing that I can I can I can share with people. Um, the Bible says in the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, you know, to make the most of every opportunity that mm. comes your way. Mm. So whenever any opportunity for you to showcase your talent and your gift, especially in the area of music, do it, grab it with both your hands. Um, my pastor used to say this to me. He, he, he said this statement that when, when preparation meets opportunity, it is equal to success. True. But when opportunity comes and you are not prepared, mm. it, it's a disaster. It's a recipe for disaster. So, Ndagaba, that's it. Ipapapo, utori kwa uri koko, 
Know that you have to be prepared. The moment that you're prepared, you get that opportunity, you never know. The sky is, is, is not, the limit is just the beginning. Wow, yeah. wow, wow. All right, um, we are living in these days, as you know, everything is at, on a standstill. Yeah. Um, what word would you give to young people out there? What would be your last word? young people out there yeah my, my last word would be um, obviously people have to be safe uh, make sure that you, you are um, adhering to every rules that are there that safeguard you as an individual and as an artist as well um, the word that I can give to you is this is something that I'm, I'm, I was just thinking of. Um, find time to pray to God, to ask God to give you original songs, mm. right songs, songs that matter, that give people hope in this season. It's very important. Uh, Specifically, this song was written by so and so mm. in the year 2020 or in the year 2019, and it will be being sang maybe in 2050 if the Lord is not returned. Amen. So my, my my encouragement is to the young people that are out there, write songs. Ask God to give you the grace to write songs. If you can write songs, write songs. If you can write them down, write them down. Keep them. You never know. It might not be for this season, but it might be for the season that is to come. Amen. 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 Well, people, that was uh, Minister Ella Cherai. Um, what a profound young man. He's loaded, I tell you. He's loaded. And I'm sure we'll be seeing a lot more of you Definitely. in the near future. Definitely. Uh, that's Definitely. awesome. That's awesome. Thank you so much, uh, Minister. Thank you, uh, everybody, for watching. You have been watching Gospel Moments right here on AFM TV. Uh, very soon. We're going to be talking to your wife very soon. First. We have to, we have to, yes. we want to ask you questions. Definitely. Definitely. And it has been lovely, it has been good. Keep safe, God bless you. Pastor W. Shuoro, they call me the High Voltage. Welcome to our new series, Power of Association. Let's read from Joshua chapter number 9, verse number 22, is an introduction to our series. We shall move on with the story of the life of David. The life of David, but for as an introduction, let's go to Joshua chapter number 9, verse 22. And Joshua called them, and he spake unto them, saying, Wherefore have you be beguiled us, saying, We are very far from you, we you dwell among when you dwell among us. Now therefore you are cursed, and there shall none of you be freed from being bondmen, and you who are of wood and drawers of water from the house of the Lord. 
And they answered Joshua and said, Because it was certainly told thy servants how the Lord thy God commanded his servants Moses to give you all the land and to destroy all the inhabitants of the land from before you. Therefore, we were so afraid of our lives because of you and you have done this thing. And now behold, we are in thy hands. And it seemed good and right unto thee to do us, to do unto us do. And so did ye, did ye unto them, and delivered them out of the hand of the children of Israel, and they slew them not. Verse number 27. And Joshua made them that day woodcutters and water carriers for the congregation and for the altar of the Lord, even unto this day, in the place which he should choose. Now, ladies and gentlemen, today we would like to discuss about the Gibbonites. The Gibbonites were, they were Hivites, they were part of the Canaanites, and the Bible says when they heard that Joshua is coming with the Israelites, they had fear in them. Why? It is because they had history of the Israelites destroying a King Og, the king of Bashan, and King Sihon, the king of Heshbon, and how they crossed the Red Sea. And they had information about how the Lord spoke to Moses concerning the land of Canaan. And the Bible says they came and approached the, 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 the Israelites, and they said, we are ambassadors. We are coming from a very far place, a very far country, and we have come because we have heard that your your God is doing wonders. He did wonders even to the Egyptians, and now make a treaty with us. And the Bible says they made a treaty with the Gibbonites, and when they were uh, moving on. They realized that these Gibbonites were actually the Hivites. And another verse says they were Amorites. But when they realized that they are part of the Ites, the Bible says they, it, it, when, we, when we read right, right now, Joshua said to them, Say, Makatinye Pera, Kuta Amuz, Kutimurima Ambassadors, Takaona Makawianima Saga, Akasaka. Takao na maka uyani mawai ni bottles aka ari torn ari ari old. Takao na maka uyani maka feka hembe zaka saka ni putu zaka saka. Chimwa chini chaka ora. Jikanza jinsi jojo taka jita kuti mo believe kuti we are ambassadors. But actually we are the Hivites. But because of the treaty, because they made a treaty with them, Joshua no pa kati apa adisu kuzokura because of the treaty. But now we are reducing you. Number one, you are going to be woodcutters. And number two, you are going to be water carriers for the congregation. <laughs> I want to put it to you that power of association works. Power of association. Ziva munu woku ilirananai. Ziva munu woku take advice from. Ziva munu woku na matanai. Ziva munu woku woku zisa pasi paki vini pasi pe anu intin. Guard jealously yourself. Because these Gibbonites waka ziva kuti tikasa daru these people, the Israelites, will destroy us. But because we want to save our lives, want to save our belongings, want to save our, our families, we should go and have power of association with the people of God. I want to tell you, but even Ranzi, you are now woodcutters, you are now water carriers. They are now enjoying the same environment with the Israelites. They are now enjoying the same God, the Yahweh of the Israelites. They are are now enjoying the same provisions. Kanamuari wa akuradiza simba, raki akuradiza simba even upon the Gibbonites. Why? It is because of power of association. Power of association ya kuchenge tama Gibbonites. Though they are one of the eyes, but because of power of association, they will, they are going to enjoy the same provisions, the same environment. You should know 
kutamba naye you should know munhu wokuti i prayer partner yako unofana kuziva munhu wokuwirirana naye because power of association is powerful power of association is there so you should know kuti even vanzi maword cutters but vari kuzviita vari kupi vari kuzviita vari mumsasa wa Israel even vakanzi maword carriers vari kuita water carrier vari pa vari mumsasa wa Israel saka they are now like part of the Israelites why because of power of association bana bana na mai our introduction de kuti Ziva munhu wokuhirana naye ziva munhu wokugara naye ziva munhu woku wokuti uyu ndiye wangu why it is because power of association power of association inoshanda hakuna kubuwira nevanhu vasina basa vanosora vachimba kuti fadza mutengo wedoro fadza mutengo we wow <laughs> ziva vanhu wokusera navo because of power of association power of association magibo naitsa aku enjoy a same good kana mwari waku naisa mvura kuna Israel even magibo naitsa aku ana ma provisions mwari vakasarudza kuda ku protect our Israelis from my disease even the gibonites they are now safe vaku kuenjoy a same environment vaku kufema same mepo vaku kuenjoy a same mwari vaku kuenjoy a zvese even kana vaku kunorwa the gibonites are the zera kuti tawina hondo why it is because of power of association so be safe mwari nga kuchengete power of association even rudi mugibonite ukazira kuira nemuiza life you are safe God bless you till we meet it again we meet again keep watching AFM TV and also like and subscribe on our YouTube channel God bless you so much